Hello and welcome back to Dude's Journey and Pathfinder Kingmaker. Before we head uh, on, we should probably just heal real quickly. By the way, uh, the scrolls she has equipped also heal. And this is a big heal, right? Okay. I just do the heal. Oh, that's a pathetic heal. But I don't know. I think we gotta do another heal. How big is this? 1d8 plus 1. All this yeah, I think we're gonna do another heal. That's just the free. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna heal for one HP. What? I won't Where's the be key? Altered. Where's the key? Did we leave the key in the armory? Oh, probably over here. No. We do it my way. Okay, okay, man. We can. <clears throat> Bring the key your way. Oh yeah. I don't think encumbrance is gonna be a big issue with the main character. Partially why I picked it. Also partially why I picked the fighter. Or at least I didn't consider some, some classes. Is because I like to uh, have alignment restrictions. To uh, just play the game my way. It can be fun to play a game a certain way. But that's, I suppose that's not for everybody. Oh, familiar faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathol. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. It's a bit odd. Okay, sure. I see uh, an orc taking a nap and whatever that is. And just how did they all end up dead while well, you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. What? We got a zombie in here? What do you mean, undead? Really? Like, zombies or skeletons or...? As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. Alright, to the point. I like that. Wait, what? Go through the trap field hallway? I, I can figure that out. <clears throat> also, like, the default settings in this game are pretty good. Uh, in Pillars, for example, and the Tyranny, I, I felt like I had to configure it a bit more. A tiny bit more. You follow. Okay, that's good. So, auto pause and traps. That That's one setting I always use. Applause, please. And uh, Pillars. Look here. Okay, so one thing we have to also care about is the team, team lineup, do something like that. Okay, she has 14 HP. Ask. Oh boy, also, there's all the garbage, like everyone has that garbage that's really not gonna be too good. So she has like dexterity, she's a bard, constitution, high charisma, high con. So this is a really well built sorcerer. Uh for the most part. This is quite unique. I'm not familiar with the Inquisitor class. I'm not. Spellbook. What is this, like a dark cleric? Or paladin? I don't know. Just dropped undead. But she does have high strength and high health. Although her constitution stat is non-existent. Definitely, it seems like an interesting character. Uh, maybe I'm gonna keep the charge. Free deflection. Bleeding touch. 1d6 point. Hmm. 
Okay, we're not gonna use that. Sure. So for now, you that should be fine. Alright, let's go with the party. Wait, formation. Over there. I didn't finish that. Now, we can also do formation like this. That works. No one stands in my way. And she got this. Yes, please. Let me chain mail. Big space. State your desire. Can she use something better? That's really good for her. Also, she has uh, 18 armor. He has 8, 19, 13. So yeah, the uh, the formation is pretty good. You what you got? Scroll of Shield Fate. Reflection bonus to AC. And this is uh attack roll bonus. Saving throw against fear. Door. Yeah, we can use that. What are you dallying for? Jamandi's cash. What? I already got Jamandi's cash. You cannot stand oh. against me. Guys. Oh no, that's bad. Do that. Leave this to me. Kill one of them. It's good. Pretty good. I won't be so you guys were talking about some cash? I mean like Oh, what is this? Ew. Not this God damn it. A puzzle. Ah, oh, so many fuckers here. My way. Never mind that. Quite the easy code. He left his password on one two three. Now this is just not. Nah, I know I know exactly what happened. When he built, or she built, or whoever built the castle, or however this castle came to existence, that person thought that. Hmm, it would be really cool to have a secret chamber. But, over time, you got lazy. No one gets into your room anyway, and you just you just leave the secret chamber unlocked. Or you just don't even touch it. And you think, like, that's good enough. Like, no one comes in anyway, right? Wrong. We're gonna loot your secret chamber. Share your will. I will grant your request. Interesting. Uh, Divine Divinity 2. Oh no, what? No, not, not Divine. Divinity 2. Divinity 2 also had undeads in it. Quite the unique gameplay element. What we have here? Oi! Uh oh, oh. Scared? You should be. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go in. Because... Uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We have to right. fight. Unworthy. Kill him. That hurt. Because if you go in, you can just uh, end up fighting more dudes, especially the ranged. Kill him. Attack of opportunity. That's that's bad. I'm not sure. Like there, there's probably a perk for that. So you don't give attack of opportunity to melee characters as a range I character. 
You but fall. yeah, it, it hurts like hell. Uh, guys, hurry up. Grotus, right. I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. What? Aren't you being a bit premature? Look at yourself, you barely got a scratch! That's impossible! <laughs> oh, it, uh, it seems you might be right. <laughs> <sighs> it, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god, not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Arim is at your service. Um... You're welcome to tag along. Oh, God damn it. Sorry. So many guys! Okay, what are we gonna do with RM? Alignments, by, by the way. Neutral evil. Chaotic good. Chaotic evil. Chaotic neutral. And I'm still neutral. We'll see where it's gonna shift. I'm kinda curious. Because we are in the middle right now. So, Harim is the end draws near. Uh, level one cleric. There's a bunch of garbage. I don't know. Card of chaos. Bane. Wait. We gotta check out the spell book. So, she has spontaneous casting, so so is Lindsay and Tartuccio. But Harem, uh, like wizards, have to choose their spells and skills to use. And, uh... And you can use exactly the ones you prepared. But you can choose from every single one of them. But there's also resting. Like, we can't rest right now. Pretty sure. You Each can't rest here. So... Only resting replenishes it, so... We're definitely not gonna take out anything. Because we would be just... We, we would just lose it, simply. I won't be halted. Or maybe not lose it. Maybe... I don't know. In most games, it... it well, in basically all games, I know you just lose it. Formations? Uh, actually, good one to bring up right now, because seems like he's a melee character again. Dexterity is pathetic. Uh, do we have a formation that's actually decent for this? Wow, that's terrible. That's actually not completely terrible. If I do something like that, no, like that. But that's still weird. Nah, that's not good. Ah. Uh, okay. It doesn't even... Okay. Do something like that? Should be fine. We or we'll see if it's not. Way. What's going on here? Oi, some guards! Kestron Garrus. Run and get an axe. You bring more water. You stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Sure. Oh, the manager guy. He just does nothing and tells others to do stuff. But everyone is dead. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. It's not exactly the hot and steamy night I was uh, hoping for. Okay. I think he's just gonna dick me around. I don't know if I want to really talk to him. What's going on here? Someone opened the gate. Let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. 
We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. Okay. Where's the hall? I can find my way there. Do you need help with the fire? No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here. Those who still live. Your place is by Lady Eldori's side. What? Why are you trusting me with your lady? Also, you seem to be doing a terrible job with the fire. Like, I hate to point it out to you, Mr. Keston Garrus. But, you know, normally I would say like, okay, how do you stop the fire? But there's a freaking fountain over there. How could you not combine the two? I mean, like, fair enough, you're probably gonna need some container. But maybe you can use these or your freaking helmets. <sighs> All I see is that the three of your bankers are looking at you. Those are your best man, but I think they are just as good as you. Oh, useless. God damn it. I'm flaming the soldiers. It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. <laughs> Who are you? What? I'll go immediately. Doesn't seem right. Well, we have to go. May Abadar keep you safe. What? Head on. Can we just use the water? Can we just uh say like, you know what? You guys are idiots. I I'm using and the water anyway. Um. Time's wasted. Anything is possible. Yes. Nice heels. Just what am I supposed to do down. here? Onwards. The serious sticks. Wait, what? Where I'm supposed to go? Uh <clears throat> What are you waiting for? Get to Lady Jamandi in the banquet hall. Now! Where's the fucking hall? You'll have to run through the fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. We almost put it out at the entrance, so my main concern is not to inhale any smoke. Let's see. May Abadar keep you safe. So... This is how it looks like, that you almost put it out. I mean, like, considering... I mean, it could be worse. But this is pretty bad. I think he just wants to get me killed. Just say, be saved. And so our adventure started. Illustrated book episodes. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Early on and much more tragic than we expected. The whole team would, would have gathered in the hall yesterday and had been reduced to but a handful of brave souls. Led by Dude. And not at all by that scoundrel Tartuccio. No matter what he might have imagined of himself. Jamandi Aldori was waiting for us, but... To get to her, we have to march through fire, literally. As we approached the burning building, we drenched ourselves with buckets of water. Let's do that. Prudence is the key to victory before moving through the fire. We probably wet our clothes and hair. After that, we found the less dangerous passage. Alas, there was no safe passage. The villains who attacked the mansion knew what they were going, doing. The only path to the banquet hall led straight through the fire, which kept spreading despite the guard's best efforts. Have a good sir. Well, we just have to go through. Ah. We shouldn't have wasted our time looking for another path. While we did, the fire caused extensive damage to the mansion. As soon as we entered, we heard a horrible cracking sound as the flaming wall next to us quickly slanted. Uh, threatening to fall on our heads with no time to think. One of us heroically pushed the others forward, taking the weight of the blow themselves. Oh yeah, let's see. 
Reflex plus six. Ability plus. We darted away from the wall, attempting to avoid the flaming debris. That should be good. I don't know what saved us that day. Maybe the gods or luck, or just our own dexterity, but the flaming logs and red hot bricks didn't hit any of us. The way back was blocked, but we weren't turning back anyway. We had only one way to go. The hot air burned our lungs, and our eyes watered from the smoke, but dude led us stubbornly through the flames, while Tartuccio did nothing useful at all. I like this story. I, this is a really good way. Lindsay, good job. Perfect. <clears throat> We'd made it to the hallway leading to the banquet hall when we heard someone calling for us. It was Valerie, one of the guards I've chatted with a bit in the banquet hall. I did? Even then, in that calm setting, I'd been would have been stunned by her beauty, but uh, now, amid the smoke and flame, she looked like a celestial avenger, an armored deity, uh, menacing but beautiful and merciful, descending from the higher spheres to help us poor mortals. She held a burned, barely living guard in her arms. There are two more! She shouted as she passed us by. They are wounded! Help me pull them out! Tatuccio grumbled something about how Jumandi was waiting for us. Meanwhile, dude. Can we do that? Plus five. Shouted to Valerie that she should leave them. Enjoy. So the way it works, it's a, it's a 1D. It's a D20. Plus five. So this is hard. This is easier because we have a pretty good uh, bonus for it. This is basically 75% chance. And uh, this is like uh, 60. Whatever, something like that. Hmm. He should leave them. Or try to save the guards. Let's try to save the guards from the fire. Success! Saving the poor fellows didn't take long. Together we lifted them up and carried them away from the fire. Only then did Valerie pause to catch her breath and wipe the sweat from her face. Thank you, that was truly noble of you. And now let us rush to Lady Aldori's aid. Ensuring the guards were rescued, were relatively safe, we made our way to the hall where the battle was already in full swing. Oh boy. This is... Where it heats up. Okay, guards, just do your we thing. Do it my way. Wait, we are fatigued? Can we rest? Can I rest there? I was really saving the abilities I had to have. Because I was expecting something like this. Torches can be used to deal AoE fire damage. Swarms hate torches. Well, if he could rest, then I fucked it up. Looks like it's a fight now. Oh. Well, I guess we're going M. Let's pause. I don't know. I'm listening. Here. I am yours to command. So, she's a tower shield specialist. We are all fatigued. Penalty to strength and dexterity. That's it. And she's like a melee fighter. We can do a swap. And um, put Tartucci over here. Something like that should be fine for now. 
Okay. This looks bad. Serves you right. That's bad. Oh my god, that's so bad. Dude, you, you you gotta make something happen here. Oh my god. She is almost dead. There's basically like a self heal for undead. Oh, we gotta do the singing. Let's do some missiles. Oh my god, we're getting shot at. Our no battery is down. He's scared. Let me go back. Oh, that's good. Go. Leave this one to me. Hit the ones. Hit the hit the henchman first. Your life ebbs low. Dude, stop being scared. Lost. Oh, that's bad. Oh, actually, you need to go back and heal yourself. Dude, are you fine now? Oh yeah, we gotta take out the bowman. It's kind of bad. Can we just check the... Inspire Courage? Right then, two seconds. One second. Is he perpetually frightened? No, he, he's, he's out of it now. Should I rush the Bowman? Maybe I should just go into the Assassin Leader. Yeah. That's good. Okay, we're making some progress. Two down. Ow. Good range. Can you just go in? So. Still doing nothing. Okay, let's do some missiles. That does nothing. Even this does nothing. Uh, mages. Like spellcasters really need levels. Just die already. Any last wishes? Channeler die. Wait, what? They killed the big thing? Pretty good. We okay, let's just loot. Way. Wrap embracers. Sure. Here you. You wanna talk? I can't even take any more guys in my team. Um. Oh yeah. The ice giant. Whatever that is. Frost Giant. Chain Shirt. A Great Axe. Ooh, three Ds. That's pretty good. Battle Can we replace that? Oh, what? Was I wrong about the Great Axe? It seemed like a... Uh... Is it based on who reveals it? We're just limited to weapons. I, it was a great X, right? I can't limit it to. Hmm. I I think that's just not as good. Maybe it did more damage, and uh, uh, when the ice giant wielded it. That makes sense. And for some reason that's how the game showed it to me. And that shouldn't be the case. Who knows? I got a sweet uh, hammer anyway. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought there were worthy leaders among you. 
I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Tartuccio, the great leader? Jumandi, what the hell? I thought we had a thing. And now you're like, all about Tartuccio? He did nothing. I even made sure that he didn't do anything. I made, well, he used some magic missiles at the end, but that was pathetic. You seen how, how hard I can hit? Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you, show everyone the ring you're wearing. What? You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why he wasn't killed. The bandits recognized him as one of their own by this signet ring. Wait, what? Tartuccio, you snake! Knowledge word uh, check passed. I have no connection to Pitax, but Tartuccio's name, accent, and clothes seem to like he came straight from there. I can just kill him. <laughs> Tartuccio is trying to set me up. He's the one who gave me the ring. Oh, would it work? Yes. Such a gambit would be typical of Iravetti and his henchmen. And yet, it still seems suspicious. Come on, believe me in... Believe in me, Jumandi. There's definitely a spy among us. What? But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. Why only two of us? That makes no sense. If anything, I think Tartuccio... Wait, I don't know. Is Tartuccio just a snake? Or is he actually working for them? Because he was about to get killed when we found him. I don't know. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. <laughs> I saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true <clears throat> warrior. I'd go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook, on the other hand. <laughs> he's got the eyes of a spy. And the mug of a spy. Damn right! Miri. Amiri. Hell yeah! Can you argue with that, Jamandi? Come on. Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. Well, I, I did no such thing. Shh. Just keep that on the down low. You want to cut? And not just that. Upon finding the guard's salaries in the armory, he immediately pocketed it all. Well, moral choices or lack thereof. Sometimes your character has to make difficult decisions relying on their conscience or lack thereof. Such decisions gr impact your character's alignment, gradually shifting your character toward good or evil, lawful or chaotic. Some dialogues feature special options that are available only to characters with certain alignment. That's very cool. It's not only just... Uh... So, she has the Diplomacy 6 bonus. <clears throat> but we still need to pass a pretty, pretty hard check here. You... We weren't trying to take the money, we just wanted to keep it away from the bandits. <laughs> Fuck. Will she believe that? So what if we did? The guards weren't able to handle their responsibilities, so we decided we should teach them a lesson. I don't agree with the last part. Look, Jumandi, the place was burning down, and everyone was dead, and... I killed assassins so many on the way. I, I think like taking the money, like taking whatever is valuable. Like it stands to reason that like it, maybe a lot of people have just to, maybe everyone has just to run away from this place. And yeah, I take the money, but when I find you, I might just give it to you. Although I'm not really looking uh, <laughs> um, for that option. Well, we were trying to take money. I don't know. Maybe I'm less of a chaotic neutral here. Well, what if we did? I don't want to teach the guards a lesson. 
God damn it, so hard. This is not good. I, I don't like this so much. I, this is cool because I'm conflicted, but also I can't identify with either one of these options very much. I think saying the first one is more like me. More like what I w want him to be, but not because I mean it, but because that's what I would say. Chaotic neutral could easily say the l lawful neutral thing. Uh, just to... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just to seem less chaotic. Um, yeah, we should teach them a lesson. We were just trying to keep it away from the bandits. Considering the circumstances, that was more than reasonable. You see? Easy! That was a sound. <laughs> Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. Damn right! Fuck, they're gonna be so disappointed in me. <laughs> so soon! <laughs> when we start killing people and taking their money. Well, of course, theft is not to be condoned. However... When the fire burns around you, and you are but one step away from death, is it not insane to worry about laws and rules? Harim, I'm 100% with you, but I the reason I didn't agree with that chaotic neutral choice, I would have said what you said right now. If that was an option, I would have chosen it. But I couldn't condone that chaotic neutral, so-called chaotic neutral choice, because apparently it's about teaching the guards a lesson. That was not what I was going for. <laughs> what, what lesson is that? That even when assassins are killing everyone and the mansion is burning down, they should just go and get the money? What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? What trick? Which one? He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Huh. Interesting. Uh, people were dying right in front of me. How could I just walk by? I wouldn't have saved them without good reason. Dead soldiers are useless, but the wounded could still help cast and defend the mansion. Hmm. Well, obviously you want to frame me, Tartuccio. Fuck you. But I don't know. I think that's just the right thing to do. What? What could I? How could I know that like not saving people would actually give me the time? To do something good here. Like, I just get soldiers, like, by saving them. I don't know. There's no guarantee that what happened here. Like, it's a bit, bit like, it just talking in hindsight. Like, okay, like, this was a victorious fight. But who knew that it's gonna be a big fight here in the first place. Or just like, you don't know. I, I'm just saving people. Really, Cartuccio? You're seriously trying to blame someone for saving people from a fire? Neutral good. I'm not gonna leave people there. May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but he behaved decently as a true leader. Oh. Yeah, exactly. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight. Not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. What? I suppose she is right. In a way that... By helping people... If I, if I make that choice for myself... I'm perfectly fine to do so. <clears throat> but if I make that choice for everybody... They are... Perfectly justified to feel that's that's not okay because like that's not what they sign up for. Maybe they sign up for a mission to get some money, and now we're just saving a bunch of farmers and like and, and risking our life for nothing, and that's not what they signed up for. And uh, you can say like, oh yeah, but that's the good thing to do, but yeah, but in a way. 
I don't know. Still, the way you said it, gentle. I don't know. Well, you can't save the world. But, sure. If I, if they were just right there and dying and burning to death, I guess we're gonna help them. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. What? However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the stolen lands. What the fuck? So, you suspect two people, only two people, for some reason, of being a spy. I... I basically had a very successful conversation, but I, I suppose uh, Tartuccio planted evidence on me. But you're trusting both of us to head out on some mission in stolen lands. It's just weird. It's weird. Why us? Okay, whatever. This makes no sense. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the Stolen Lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? My team, join me. If my leader allows, I would join his team. He seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Hell yeah! Welcome to Team Dude! Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. I feel the exact same way, Harim. God damn it. I don't care too much for laws and titles. Harim, I think we're gonna get along. Eventually. I don't know if I have to kill him later. God damn it. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. How do you know that Tartu Tartuccio is like that? It makes no sense. Spiritual agonizing? Jetta considered the thoughts you shared in your conversation with Jamandia about and found too much pointless kindness. She was unimpressed. Oh, saving the soldiers. They were literally burning to death! Ah, oh, unbelievable. Ugh, Tartuccio's going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. Dude, You're I'm going with you. Of my quill. Lindsay, I'm really glad you chose me. I would have been very disappointed. Just because I just stole some money. I don't even need to think. <sighs> I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the trees. Yeah. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactas Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. Hmm. So Nivaktas Crossing is a village at the very south southern edge of Roseland, protected by a wooden palisade wall surrounding it. The South Roseland Road runs through the village. As does the road leading to the newly established settlement at uh, Warnhold. This place is home to trappers, anglers, hunters and tradesmen. The locals are a serious bunch and very suspicious of strangers, especially those from stolen lands. 
Okay, this abandoned border at border fort at the so southern edge of uh, Rostland found a uh, new life recently. Oleg and Svetlana Levitan, a couple from Restov, rebuilt it into a trading post. This place is now one of the few hospitable shelters for travelers in the surrounding wilderness. Okay. I like it. By the way, your plan sucks. So not only there are like seven of us, but you're sending us out to two places. I don't have to be a bloody genius to point out that if either of us is the spy, or at least one group has the spy in it, then that group is a far more likely to be successful because they have the support of that empire. <sighs> that I've forgotten the name of, but my ring has it. Not because I'm the spy, just saying. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. But you don't make spies and traitors the leaders of the groups. This is just a fool's errand, isn't it? Sending me out, sending two teams out, one of four guys and one of three guys, just to take a land? Was it four? I, th I think like I think there is like four of us. Miri, the shield chick that Valery that joined us, Lindsay, and dude, and we got uh, Tartucci. Oh god damn it! Jetal and the uh, the dwarf. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. Now, this alone kind of gives me the feeling that that I had in like Fallout 1, that the, the main mission is time sensitive, so no dicking around. If you dick around too much, you just lose. So I'm not sure how uh, much is taken seriously, but I think that's cool. And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restall. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Aye! Can I have an eye? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, uh, I guess not. Let's go. What? Well, are we leaving? Oh, never mind that. The first step on the road to glory. What well, now? First step? Is it happening? I don't know. Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. I like Lindsay. Such a cool way to tell a story. Oh, look at that. All right. So, this is a perfect time to take a break. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.